Welcome to Math 13, uh, 1342 with a link course of Math 308. It's a developmental. I think your score was just under the bar for uh, requiring a developmental just-in-time learning. So this class is Elementary Statistic, st Statistical Methods. We'll be doing probability. We'll be doing... Uh, uh, bell curve, we'll be doing hypothesis tests, we'll be doing a lot of things in how people relate information regarded, regarding collected data. And data can be done by observation, by experiment, uh, so those two things will come into play. So this is the fall semester of 2024. Can you believe it? We're starting. Here we go. Well, first thing you do is get prepared to be successful in this class. So you'll need some, some um, items uh, that are uh, important to be successful. You'll need a TI-84 calculator because it is what I teach with in utilizing the applications that are available on this uh, calculator. It runs about $150 and maybe $60 at a pawn shop or used. But if this is still too much, you can download an emulator from your app store uh, and just type in TI-84 and it'll give you a variety of looks for this calculator. Try one out and make sure that you're comfortable with using it on your smartphone and then do the upgrade. It's usually less than $6. And this will allow you to get the uh, application keys that I utilize in my course. So there's a lot of ways you can uh, acquire that item. The other thing you need is a computer, a laptop, a tablet, a MacBook, any kind of connection to an internet. That's the other thing you need is an internet. Now life is never fair and um, things happen. You can always come to the LTC and utilize their calculators and, uh, and join in on broadband at our college at MCC. Use uh, password. So those are one way of getting around uh, not having the correct tool. Another way is to let me know of a hardship that you might have. I can submit your name to the, uh, to the student services. And um, if you are a full-time student of good standing, that means that you're not behind and you're making decent grades, uh, they will check out a tablet or or and or or and a hot spot for you to use in your home. So those are uh, abilities to uh, have the tools that you need because uh, that is vital. That is absolutely vital on this online class. So then you'll need either a spiral or composition book, whichever one you find more convenient. You need to keep a log of how you solve problems, excuse me, uh, from the course, because uh, the review always refers to the number of each section problems that you will expect on the exam. The last thing, and probably the most critical, is time. Most times people take this class because they are working, uh, unable to come to campus, uh, not in Texas, uh, not in Waco. Uh, so there are a lot of reasons why they would want to take an online class. So um, having that said that, there is still the need for time. And it's the hardest one of all the items that you need for this course. Now, one of the things that I need you to do is keep in mind your, your goal your goal of having a college degree. This must be 
always, always reminded personally in order to make good choices. It is easy to put off facing a course that is math. And most times people think erroneously that it's easier to take an online class of math. Well, that's a lie. But having said that, it is not hard either if you do it in little spurts. So time is an enemy for completing this class. So please do not plan on doing all of the week's assignments in one day. That will make you hate the class and not understand a thing that you're learning. So let's do that success factor. Planning for success. Here we go. I'd like you to print out, if possible, the, uh, the calendar for the weekly assignments. The reason for that is that you can stick it in your composition book or spiral so that you can view what is coming ahead. A students always know what's coming ahead and therefore plan for success. Use a computer with internet access and watch videos. Those are what the ideal scenario would be. Sometimes watching videos is very boring. So I've broken them up. So if there's a problem that you are unfamiliar with, go to the completed notes and find one that's similar that I have demonstrated and then get the video portion of that. And that should make it easier for you. Take notes and email or attend a Zoom office hour for questions. I am here first as a help. If you can't get me for whatever reasons, then please find tutors. You can do those online and on the MCC webpage and they can adjust to your schedule and help you out. You must only communicate with your MCC email address. I do not open Gmail. Let me repeat that. I do not open Gmail or any work email. That puts me in jeopardy with my contract. So, I will not open Gmail. Won't answer it. So, be aware of that and read anything I send you on your MCC email. So, let's get looking at what we're doing this semester. Well, the first thing you need to do until you get a hot spot uh, or a hot link, I should say, to Brightspace is uh, go to www.mclennan.edu and click on I am a and the down uh, label will say current student. Then click on Brightspace and sign into it using your uh, initials and ID number with the password. And then you'll see what you're taking this semester as icons. This is my icon. Well, we're doing math 308, 1342, L090, meaning those two are linked together as a course. And you'll be clicking uh, to do your assignments. All right. So, what does it look like up close? Well, it looks like this. This is an IA uh, link class. In other words, you don't buy a book, you don't buy an access code, you just click on what's there and accept. On the first time, it'll act, ask you to accept, and you will. There is never a need for a course ID, and uh, we included math. 308 in with the college level class. So there's only one place to go to be current on everything. Okay, well, once you click on that, you get on my home page. Now, my home page always has an announcement, and the announcement is should be read or referred to uh, as to any changes or adjustments to the course that I have needed to do. Also to alert you if they're IML or, or whatever. So in this case, uh, on the right is a picture of, of me. I do not look that good. My daughter is a photographer and made me look wonderful. I am old, and that's part of uh, the fact that 
that picture looks really good. All right. Now, um, always look on the home page. And then we're going to talk about the ribbon as we get into it. Well, this is the most important, important thing I can tell you. Communicate, communicate, communicate. Uh, I don't know your problems until you let me know. I don't know if you're getting behind until I go and check on Monday and send emails referring to an absence. I don't know if an emergency has happened unless you inform me. I don't know if you're uncomfortable or have lost interest in the course and uh, are scrambling and feeling anxious. There are helps that we can get you to for that. Mental health is a very important aspect of student learning. And uh, we're here uh, to support you in any way, but you must let me know. Come to me first. All right, so let's look at the course in real time. Here we go. So here's my, I've already signed in and we're doing 90. So I click on this and I'm gonna change to uh, learner. Here we go. So you can see it. All right. The first thing I want you to see is the fact that sure enough, there is my announcement and welcome. And on it, I have bullets. And notice I put what the first week will be, what you're responsible for. Notice the orientation video is one of them. Then uh, the integrated review, that's your Math 308, and that's just basic fractions. And you can just click the Help Me button, and I'll go through that in a minute. And then the two lessons of the college level and one discussion board. So we got that. Now, I want you to draw your attention to something that I did this year, and I'm very excited. excited. Uh, I put the homework and exams are here. So it takes you to my stat lab. Of course, it's a big program. And you can see all of the homeworks that you need to be doing, not at one time, but according to the calendar. The other thing that my homepage has is student grade. Everybody always asks me, what's my grade? Well, the grade that shows up here is without the final. The final is 20%. So if it says 80, uh, that you've got an 80 on there, uh, you've, you've got a good grade, but it's not the grade that goes into grade book because you haven't taken the final. And unless I put a zero in the final, it'll give you the true grade you have. But anyway, it'll give you an idea how strong you're doing. If you're in the 80s, you're in excellent shape. Then the other thing we have is your attendance. So if there's ever a question of what I did, uh, and I'm going to correct this one here. I haven't done that. I forgot about this class. Sorry about that. It'll only be one listing, and it'll be our class. So um, you click on it and see how many absences uh, I have done to you. And if they're in error, you immediately send me. The thing about uh, absences is the fact that... Um, sorry about that, uh, is the fact that if there are, uh, in, in online, it's four. If you reach four, you're in super jeopardy. And I need to hear from you. I need to hear what's going on, why you would not work for four weeks on this class. And so I can have the right to drop you. So that that is something that has caused a lot of grief for a lot of people. But if you don't communicate with me, then I don't have a way of knowing what's going on in your life. I will always be as generous as possible. So you're saying, okay, now, what else do we have? Well, in all online or face-to-face, -face, the, the instructors tell you to go on content. And on content, you have several things available to you. So uh, this one right here is where the syllabus and calendar are. And what I'd like you to do is go ahead and print this guy. 
to print properly. In other words, you can print off of this, but it comes out really kind of bunk. I'd like you to download it and then uh, print it. When you download it here, a blue arrow and line come up here. Click on it and then open it up and then print it. It'll be perfect. Now, the reason I want you to print it is because in a nutshell is everything I do uh, to connect with you. Uh, you even, you can text me. You can text me if I haven't responded to email. Email, call me in my office, leave a message. I'm, I do face to face. And um, so I may not be in the office at the time you call. Leave me a message, I'll call you back. And here's the grade breakdown. Notice that discussion board is uh, 10%. And um, uh, uh, I don't know, there's a typo there. I'm sorry about that. And this is important too. Attendance is taken weekly with two thirds of the week's assignments completed, uh, constructing present for the week. So if I give you three assignments then, and you complete two, uh, that makes you at the present, but it also makes you behind because uh, everything's on a due date. And you need to email me so I can take care of you in extending something to, on your behalf. Uh, there's a need for at least a 75 on each assignment to continue to the next section. These two items are very critical for your understanding. And so that's why I want you to print and have. All right. So let's see. What else do we have on my uh, content? That's very important. Don't print out the syllabus. Sorry about that. Don't print out the syllabus uh, at all. Uh, it is a legalese and it's there. You can look at it. So if we go back to content, I've done something different this year. I have the weekly assignments all in one place. And this is very important for you. It welcomes you into what we're going to be doing and what objectives we're going to cover. And then it gives you direct links to my videos, completed notes, and to the discussion board. So in discussion one, you can't find it anywhere else, so you have to go to week one. And then uh, you respond to this guy right here. And I have, I'm going to change the summer course to the fall. I'm sorry about that, because I had this running in the fall. And it tells you what I want you to respond to and then read somebody else's. And it says on the orientation video, because I need you to watch this video that I'm making, uh, glean two nuggets of information that struck you and mention them uh, and if, it, if the video was helpful. All right. So now you have... Uh, Idea. Now, on, <clears throat> on my uh, contents, you'll only see two weeks at a time. Uh, notice there's a whole bunch because everybody said the whole thing is full. Uh, and as we get better, uh, you'll be able to uh, make sure you push yourself to finish. I insert zeros on anything that's not completed by uh, Sunday. Uh, e uh, by Sunday night. I check on Monday's uh, progress. Is everybody comfortable with that? All righty. Very good. Well, I'm going to leave you with this. It does not matter how slowly you go as long as you do not stop. And that's from Confucius. And that means that you have a dream and a goal. The dream is a dream because you thought of it that that's what you wanted to do. Now, when you convert it to a goal, then you're focused on it. And again, sometimes you have to go slowly and sometimes, uh, and you can never stop. So uh, Confucius is correct on that. Unfortunately, this class has a deadline and that's your responsibility to make time to, for this class. It's easy to make excuses of I'll get to it later or I can do it all on Sunday. 
uh, that will make you not learn the material, hate the material, and get frustrated. And that would be the worst thing to do. If you have half an hour, start something. Watch something, write something, work a problem or two, because it'll save it and you can get back to it. If you don't, um, I, I'm going to be honest, um, it's not going to work. It's just not going to work. Uh, and I know you all have full schedules. And those are choices you've made. Good, bad, or indifferent. Choices for success are different than choices of, yeah, I can. To plan for success. Uh, so if you're taking three online classes, then you don't have a life because that is a lot of uh, discussion boards, of projects, of uh, work, of exams and deadlines. So please, please plan to be successful. I don't want to lose anybody. I have a very good passing rate. And I don't want it messed up. But the passing rate is because people take, take heed of what I've said. I'm very happy that you chose my class. And I'll see you in Cyber World. Oh, I forgot to mention, my name is Alma Waslinski. And I am your instructor for this course. Thank you so much for listening. See you in Cyber class. Bye.